Feliz Navidad. Safe practices are in order. Don't forget, wear your mask when you're going out. Also, make it a habit. Every 15 minutes, wash your hands with soap and water, especially if you're going outside. Um, if you get things outside, wash it, sanitize it, right? Don't forget to social distancing are in order. All right, so this is my last video for 2020, and I just wanted to say thank you. I chose some of the work. I could not take the whole school, and I wanted to share it with you. So let me just get it there at the beginning here. Slideshow. So, Merry Christmas from my home to yours. Can, this is my crush, and this is my family heirloom. It's been in my family for probably about 80 years. So I'm sharing from my home the spirit of Jesus, and also we are in the second week in Advent. So my two candles are lit. So the first year infants, we did the Advent wreath for Christmas. And I'm so happy I chose, this one is a video which I could not upload for you all to hear. But she sang Feliz Navidad and I want to say thank you. You broke my heart, you brought tears to my eyes, you made me smile. I thank you, I thank you. I thank the parents who did it. And also, I thank you for showing me your little face so I could put my, I could, I could know who you are. Parents, though, I would like to thank you. I missed seeing faces and I miss holding little hands and I wanna thank you. You did that. You held their hand, you guided them, right? Um, I saw the work was from the children, but I also saw that learning really, their first learning is from you and you played a great part. Parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, I know you played a great, you worked too with your children and no better learning from you. And I just wanna share one thing with you um, from Psalm 127, verse three, know that children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. So I, I am so honored to see what you have done with your child. The second year infants, we looked at modes of transport and we looked at a Christmas air balloon. And these are some of the amazing designs where you took my simple design and you made it, you ran with it. And you made me say, wow, and boom. Here is Tashana Williams. I was so pleased with her work. Thank you, mommy, because I saw every time you did something, it always made me say yes. So here's Tashana Williams when we did trans, uh, modes of transport by man. So she showed me, this was three lessons where she showed me the background, which is what we did. And she showed me her two modes of transport and her people, which she used from the prior lessons. Here she is in her uniform. Here she is using the technology. And that's one thing COVID has done. We are using the technology wisely, right? So I say to you parents, I know it's a tough job. I know it is hard because you have also your work to do but I know you also had to make time or family members had to make time for these babies to guide them forward, to push them forward. Our standard ones, we looked at our culture, Parang. Now Parang, our, the girls in our school, we normally have a Parang band. But I thought that we need to look at Parang a little more clearly. Look at the instruments and we learned about the history. But you girls went further. You did carving where you made your own men. 
to make your block space. This look at look at the resources and I thank you. Some parents called me and messaged me and said, Miss, I don't have this, but can I use that? Yes. Creativity. Yes. Push in the bar. Yes, you don't have something. Let's look and see what it is we have that we can reuse. And most of my art is based on that. It's based on reusing. Let's find a way of not having to go to the grocery or to the soup, um, to the, the bookstores to buy anything. Let's use what we already have. We have paints, we have colored pencils, we have glue, we have paper, we have containers at, at home. Let us recycle. So yes, I love the effort. I really commend that. And girls, I and parents, presently I am closely looking at Mia Motley, the Prime Minister of Barbados, amazing woman. And she was a child like you. And I particularly look at her because she's an upcoming woman of our time. I am looking at you. I am looking at you dream a little aspire a little true creativity your mind is always thinking how else another way can i make this happen and this is the seed that is planted right so we couldn't go at the beach but we had to learn about 3d so we couldn't go maracas beach bam we had maracas beach at our home we could have imagined we could have fantasized and we learned we learned about 3d shapes and look at how it was done to a different level i thank you i'm seeing skills here skills in coloring skills in construction understanding our 3d shape length width and breadth understanding the flat surfaces and curved surfaces the nets of things Standard three. Oh, I made a mistake here. So standard three, we also continued the culture of Paran, where we had to construct another. Um, they also look at 3D shape. The mara the. Oh my gosh, I made a mistake. The quattro. So they had to make their quattro. Right. So um, there were so many so many i could not do all and the standard fours and fives we deviated a little bit and we looked at el Tukuch. so for those of you who don't know el Tukuch, right in saint joseph girls rc right behind us is our it's it's a culture that i think we are losing it's a story that needs to be told the story of el Tukuch that mountain behind us. And I am so, I was thrilled at the sculpture. We use just paper and water and glue. Now mind you, if you go on YouTube, there are other things that you can add to make this even more. But I wanted to stay within the parameters that people could afford, which I knew we could recycle paper. There are old copy books, which we could tear, right? Copy books that pages that you want to make, but we could tear into bits and pieces. So add some glue and cult and create. Now sculpture, I chose sculpture for the fours and fives because I knew the amount of work that you have to do. And the project, this took very long because you had to go and come back, go and come back to create. But do you know that it, sculpture is a stress reliever? You could pong it, you could mold it, you could relax, you can get the shape that you want. And also we learned about the story of El Tukuch, the only flat top mountain we have in Trinidad in our Northern range. So when the next time you go up St. Joseph, just look straight ahead, you will see the flat top mountain which we can see here in this sculpture, and the praying hands, which is the point next to it. El Tukuch was revered by the Amerindians as a sacred mountain. And the story of it. Oops, wait, just I don't want to go back a bit. Did it go back? Oh, it went a bit too fast. So here it is again, fantastic work, fantastic use of colors. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think. Right. 
So the story of Elticooch, we can see the pyroglyphs, which is the only rock left by the Amerindians with artwork on it. And here we have also in Elticooch, our endangered species, the golden tree frog and the bromeliad, right? So from this lesson, girls, there's a story to be told. Perhaps one of you could be the next author of the book on Elticooch. Get that? I look forward to that. Artists in the making. So she went a step further and we can see here why abandoned. It's the same lesson, but she took it another level. I am so proud and thrilled to see your work and to see your face too and to see your excitement. Ah, here's a perfect example of it. And one day with your family, you can go at Kosika village, Karika village at the bottom of El Tukuch in Maraca St. Joseph and you can see it. It is also revered as a sacred ground, right? Right here in Trinidad. And I found that we needed to know this story. A lot of people do, and I'm sure we go to St. Joseph Girls RC and we don't know that we are on sacred ground. I also looked at our house system and we named our houses after Saint Saints. So here is Saint Therese, Saint Teresa. Remember that nothing is small in the eyes of God. Do all that you do with love. So it is our penmanship, but taken to a next level. And drawing skills. Here we have start by doing what's necessary, then what's possible. And suddenly you are doing the impossible, St. Joseph. And what I love about what this girl did is she used a paintbrush, something that is totally hard, but she did it. And she's gonna get better. Amazing. We are born to love, we live to love, and we die to love, still to love more. I, can't, I, I forgot her name, I can't see it properly here. But look at it, look at how she was able. And I'm not saying everybody can do this, but you start somewhere. And that's what God gives us that gift, that gives us that gift to cultivate it. And lastly, he loves, he hopes, he waits, and God waits on us. He waits on us to just, just turn to him. Right, I also, let me see if I can get some videos up too. I can get this on, right? I was so impressed. So we have the maracas, which was done by the standard twos. And she played it for me. Totally loved it, totally. So wait, um, let me get it again. Let me try and get the next one. Another maracas where she played it. She made it, she created it, and she played it. I love this one.
Right. So from my home to yours, I am wish wishing you Feliz Navidad. I am blessing you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I pray for your homes. I pray for those people who are ill because I know there are some people who are ill and I'm praying that you would get over this. I'm praying for healing. I'm praying for those people who are struggling because I did hear you. And I, and I pray for God to open a way for you. And I pray for togetherness of families. I pray for it. I pray for that we can stick it through and we can get it together. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you.